I'm Sarah. Hi kids, I'm Marty. I'm Susie. I'm Andrew. I'm Rebecca. Hi, I'm Alicia. We are Loving Mary and you're watching Pavlina's Kids Place. I do, oh, actually, yes. So, um, I was just wondering what has been a really epic moment for you that you didn't really think would be epic, but it turned out to be just amazing. You know, um, uh, this guy coming over and telling me that he remembers way back when, uh, you know, I would go in a, uh, to do VBF, some of these big stations in Boston. Okay. And on the way out, I see these other guys jock, and I go and go, well, what were you got? He goes, oh, I'm just a small show, and I would go in and sit down with him. It's, it's kind of like what I do. And and I would do liners, you know, hi, this is Steven Tyler, and you're listening to You know, that kind of silly shit. But he said um, that, you know, back when you guys was flying around eight miles high, you were still so grounded. Yeah. It made me feel good. Yeah, that's amazing. And I yeah. just turned 18, so what advice would you give to kids, you know, either when getting into music or just, just business in general? Don't talk to people like me. You're going to get in trouble for sure. Um, I don't know, just follow your heart. Follow your heart. Yep. I don't know, what would you say about that? I'd say that you are the walking Godwig. I'm a walking Godwig. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go. Kiss me. Hey everyone, it's Pavlina from Pavlina's Kids Place. I'm on location here in Atlanta for the radio show, and I'm here with Ben with Next Radio. How are you doing? I'm doing excellent. That's Thank good. you. That's very good. So tell me about Next Radio, because it's like really the next thing in radio. Yeah, well Next Radio is essentially FM radio, like you have in your car or you know, at your home radio, but on your smartphone. And so we bring in the audio over the air and then create a really rich interactive experience for local radio um, on the, over the internet, on the device. Where can people, you know, get the app or all that stuff? Well, right now the app is uh, preloaded on all Sprint Android phones. Uh, it's right now it's Android only, unfortunately. But we are um, we just did a deal with AT&T, so next year AT&T phones will be able to use Next Radio. Download from the Google Play Store. Um, we've, we're working on a deal with T-Mobile. They've said yes uh, verbally, so we're working on finalizing that and hope to have those uh, next year as well. Tell me about the Live Guide. Well, the Live Guide is a really innovative way to to make decisions about what station you want to listen to in your local area. So right now you say, oh, do I want to listen to 96.3 or see what's on 97.1, you know, based upon what you know about that station. With Live Guide, we're showing the, the listener all of the all of the radio stations that they can tune to in their area and what's playing right now. So my decision changes from do I want to listen to 96.1 or 97.3 to do I want to hear Taylor Swift or do I want to listen to that new Justin Bieber song or do I want to hear some country music right now. So it's more it's not on demand in a sense you're not starting that song when you tap it but you know what you're going to hear when you tune to that station which is totally revolutionary for radio. That's amazing. That makes it so much easier. You know, it's like, oh, I'm in my Florida area or I'm in my New York area and I can just look what's around me. So that's exactly. awesome. And it's great for when you're traveling too. So like when I landed here in Atlanta, I don't know anything about Atlanta radio stations, but by turning on Next Radio, I can see very quickly there are four country radio stations and, and this is the hip-hop station that's playing what I want to listen to, whatever it might be. And I'm here with Dave Scott. So you are kind of like an icon in everything you have done with, you know, creating new stuff. So can you just tell me about your whole career? I started in radio as a DJ and an engineer and uh, did that for a number of years. Ended up with a few shares of stock in the station. and. Um, there were some products that we needed for our own station that uh, we looked around in various vendors and couldn't find. Yeah. So we ended up making them ourselves and some guy came to pitch me on going into the syndication business which is selling to other stations yeah. and the, uh, the pitch was pretty good and the next thing I knew a bunch of other stations were picking up on the products we made. And so I sold my interest in the stations and went full time into uh, making things for radio stations. I did uh, a comedy service for a number of years. We did uh, uh, jingles for stations. We did jingles for advertisers. We did automation tapes. I was a disc jockey on 425 stations at one time. and. Um, not a very good disc jockey, but uh, and and consulted stations, and then uh, pretty much just find a need and fill it. And if radio, the sign on my desk says we want to make what they want to buy, and so if they say we need 
automation system for the studio, that's what we did. They said our traffic and billing, sending bills to our advertisers is clunky and cumbersome, so we did that. I have stations that say we need to change format, we need a complete new music library, and I need it in secret, and I need it tomorrow. So I do that. I do. Uh, XM Satellite called me and said, we're having trouble with our weather reporters. They get bored and they're, they're tired of doing the same weather every two minutes over and over again. So we automated that. So pretty much I'm just what they want to make is what we want to buy. Yeah, making lives easy. And I'm here with Jamie from StreamOn, but you guys have Cloud Logger. Can you tell me about that? Okay, the Cloud Logger, what it is, is it's a tool that lets radio stations share their content instantly. So after you do like a really cool interview or a phone call with a listener, you can share that content on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you like. And whenever a listener or a follower clicks on the link that you've created, it brings that listener back to the radio station and they can listen to that clip of audio inside the station's player. And then after the clip is done, the station will start to play live on their phone or their laptop or wherever they are. So this is a radio station in uh, Vancouver, BC. And uh, it's a a modern rock radio station so they're playing music and they have commercials and they have talk and you can scroll back and this is all the various different broadcast events that have happened today right up to this moment so there was a 90 second audio break here it has no title so this would be um, a microphone was on and they were talking uh, about something on the radio so let's have a listen to see what they were talking about So what we can do now is we've got this long break and maybe there was just a section in the middle of the break that we wanted to share with our listeners. So we can literally grab a piece of audio and we can just hit the plus button here and it's going to create a little clip. So we've taken 26 seconds out of a 90 second uh, microphone event. And then we can add a picture if we want uh, because we're going to post this on Facebook. So I'm just going to throw up a picture of myself just for fun. And then we've got uh, an image that's going to be on Facebook or Instagram. And then we want to put a test here. We want to add some sort of description. And then we simply save the project. Now we've created this URL that we can now distribute through whatever channel you like. So I'm going to put it on Facebook. And it'll create a Facebook post. So, so now I'm going to say hi there. And then we share the link. And I can do all that while I'm still talking to somebody or during a commercial break or during a song. So meanwhile, over on Facebook, what's going to happen is I'll just refresh this and there it is. And so as a friend of Jim Cameron's or whoever's following, they can click on this and it'll open up the station's player and it's going to place that, play that piece of audio. And when this clip of audio finishes playing, the station's going to jump directly to live. But the listeners can also grab content and they can share it themselves by simply posting to Facebook or Twitter or they can email out a break or a weather or an interview or whatever cool things they're hearing on the radio. And so when it's finished, this clip is going to jump directly to live. Either Taylor Swift or Drake song every three minutes. The NFL is huge on the radio these days. Getting, uh, getting as much as 50% share of men ages 25, 54. That's amazing, huh?